Welcome back, guys. Look at that little empire. It's getting quite big, isn't it? So, um, first thing, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I've put in a new naming convention for the lines. So RF Road Freight, and then uh, where it is. Now, if it's um, if it's just like a generic one, like hauling to the whole town, then uh, there's nothing. If it's hauling uh, like a specific commodity around, then uh, then it's coal. So like this one, if we uh, if we jump to that line, we can see this is a specifically a coal route hauling coal to the steel plant. So that's RF, and then. RP for passenger, so road freight, road passenger. So then we can see, and it, and it helps you to see all your, all your, you've got all the right vehicles on the right lines and stuff. So we've got road passenger, and then if we go down here, we've got um, ship freight. So this should be Barrington, not Beatington, for God's sake. Let's try that again. Uh, Barrington, where are we? Barrington. So, uh, so that's Barrington ship freight and then we've got tf which is uh, train freight and tp which is train passenger and then this was the one i got to the last one and i thought oh, i'll leave this one to put in when you guys are here so sparky this should be spark spot this should be sparksville there we go sparksville and this should be train passenger there we go so now all of our lines are kind of organized and sorted out excellent so what are we going to do in this episode well we're going to finish off the um, the machining and tools production chain. So we're trying to produce uh, machines and tools down here. So ooh, got a lot to do. Lot to do. Uh, now uh, the, the, now the next thing I'm going to do after I've got that sorted out is our main line. Uh, let's just get rid of a few icons so you can see this more clearly. Um, our main line runs from um, Troy to Barrington uh, to Sparksville. We are going to extend that. To Viewterville, Mexborough, Kesgrave, Sirencester, and link it up with the Ilkinston Lutterworth Kimberley line, right? So we're gonna, and then and then that's gonna be extended to Hastings, uh, Meldar, Upton on Severn, and back round to Troy. So that's gonna be like a circular mainline route which goes around the whole place, and then we can put in some uh, some branch lines off to other places like Dartford and Sittingbourne and whatever. So there you go. That's the uh, that's the longer term plan. But right now we need to get this <laughs> this freaking thing going, which is kind of interesting. Right. So what are we going to do? We're going to put in. Uh, we're shipping the timber up to the sawmill. So we need to get the sawmill shipping planks down to to uh, no huh. shipping down to the manufacturing plant, the the machine factory, and then we've got the the coal and the and the iron ore coming in to produce steel and it's also producing slag which we need to get shipped down here so hang on a second mm, we're, we're shipping the planks to here well to here so we could actually ship them kind of both together this last bit so if we ship them up to here and then ship it down to here yeah that would work wouldn't it all right so let's do that uh we've got two and a half million and i could borrow another one Ooh, yeah, okay, all right. We'll see. I might not have enough to do this, but we'll see. So if we're gonna double track this, and then we want uh, a line from it. So we're gonna up this to, to, to ah, and of course it puts it on this side, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it does. Okay, we'll, um, so we'll, we'll switch that track over onto this side. So we'll demolish this bit of track and connect it up to this side right then we're going to want to double track this uh can i get this yeah i can get this to come onto here so that's fine so that works and then at the other end down here um yes yeah, so oh man yeah yeah ideally i want that on the other line on the other side rather so you know what well, let's take let's take that out and um, so I want to bring this out like, ah, no, not like that. Try again. From, I don't know, from, let's do it from maybe up here. There we go, that'll do. Okay, and then we want to run this. Whoop, that's a bit too far. Uh, two, where, where did I put it in? Two, there, yeah, one, one and a half million. Wow. Yep. Okay, done. So that's double tracked. 
Um, that's for the longer term, though, but I think I, I just wanted to get that in so I didn't have to mess around with this later. Okay, uh, this one is going to come up to here and then ship down to there. So let's see. I'm going to want... Uh, a station here now we could actually put this into that station as well so I'm thinking one two we're gonna want a three yeah we're gonna want a three platform station here Wow yeah like that okay so we're gonna want to hook this up with the road uh, it only needs to be a small country road that's fine well, that's kind of Expensive, isn't it? 53k? Wow, okay. I'll live with it, what the hell. Right, is this in range? Yep, it's in range. Cool. So we can get uh, we can get rid of this. Uh, we need to move this train out of the way. Move out of the way. Yeah, drop your stuff off. That's another 228k for us. Good. Get out. Get out, go away. I may have to like carry on running this on to get some cash but now people have been asking me actually it's a good point pause uh, people have been saying like, why are you pausing you should be running it to get more cash coming in yeah but the thing is it's not just about getting cash in it's getting cash in as early as possible because otherwise I'm not going to be able to upgrade and get all the new models and all that kind of stuff as they come out so so yeah it's not it's not as simple as that um, let's take this back to about, I don't know, there probably. So now I've got to do a bit of smoothing. So that's going to go into there. Actually, it's probably not going to go into there. <laughs> Man. Um, we want to upgrade this to, let's see, I got one, two, three. This is going to be a three tracks, uh, a three platform station. Yep. Yep. And this is going into the wrong blooming one. Bonehead. So bring that back. That is going to go in. Uh, hang on. Yeah, yeah. That's going to go into that one. There we go. Right. Then we're going to have this one is going to go. Oh, will you go up to that track? Will you? Oh no, you freaking won't, will you? Oh man. All right. How about if? How about if we do it like that? And then take you up to there. There we go. And then run you into the station. Okay, cool. So we've got um, we've got the planks coming on this line, and we've got the iron ore coming on this line. Um, now, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it on. T I'm going to do it on a separate line. So I'm going to have. Uh, this line now this is the one that's going to be complicated because we've got a fairly steep hill here so I'm gonna put a station this is gonna be this is gonna have to be a bit of a windy track because that that is quite a hill up there so now we're gonna have a dock down here to ship the uh, the tools and machines to uh, Sparksville and Barrington so we're gonna want a dock down here Okay, so that's that. Let's trim that end off. So, station. We're going to put the station down here. Uh, let's flip it around. Yeah, we want to be... I don't know. We want to be heading off in kind of that direction-ish. I think. Yeah. That kind of sort of direction. So, let's go from like there. Okay, so this <clears throat> this one is going to have to go like round like this kind of thing. Okay, let's um, that's maximum curvature. Okay. Now, if I just connected it straight, what would it do? Uh, that's 750 but has it given me something kind of sort of sensible yeah no not really 
So, so no, let's not do that. Let's run you out. Okay, so we've got to cut through this bit of hill here. Um, yeah, well, do I want to cut through that bit of hill? Maybe I want to cut through like a bit of it. So maybe we do it like that. And then, now let's see what it does now. Oh, too much slope. Ooh, that's, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, now, what if, like, if we run it out further. Still too much slope. Okay, well. What about if we run it out a bit further? And I'm only going to need some more cash. Borrow. So, let's actually let it run because <laughs> cause I've had a cash, virtually. Um, so, alright, let's, let's run that to there. And then, now, um, hang on a second, hang on a second, let's pause for a sec. Uh, if we run this, I don't know, let's run you out a little bit like that. And then, and then see, still too much slope. I think that's I think that's because of this bit though. Okay, let's run it a little bit further. Now will you, now will you do it? Oh, now it'll do it. And that's only seventy-one k. Okay, that's bearable. Okay, so let's uh, borrow our last half a million, guys. We're up to our ten million max loan now. Uh, accept that okay so now I'm gonna let it run on kind of medium pace uh, so uh, we've got that station coming up to here we've got so that's bringing in the oh god that's bringing in the iron ore this is bringing in the planks right and then we want to ship the planks and the steel and the slag down to here who freaking Ray at last? Um, yeah, now how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Uh, oh, we've already got a depot up here. Okay. Well, if we've already got a depot up here, then uh, all we would need to do is put uh, a little connection there. Try that again. Put in a little connection there. And then the trains from here can go onto both, which would work. Alrighty. So, um, oh, see, we're already up to two million. So we want to buy a train. Now, this is going to be hauling the planks on the first half of their journey. So what are we going to be using we're going to be using I think we're going to use a G3 for this because this is relatively flat here I think I don't know I should probably be using the T3s they're slower but you can put more trucks on them like quite a lot more trucks on them so they're so expensive though I mean they're, they're 700,000 compared with this is like half the price so I could put two of those on I, I'm not really sure why I'd want one of those Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to run it with one of those. And now, these state cars are really freaking expensive. Really? I mean, they're 400,000 each. So, I'm just going to put like, I don't know. I'm just going to put four on for now, I think. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. Jeez, that's used up all my cash again. So let's take that and we'll put it on a new line, which is going to run from uh, Belper Branch to Barrington North. Cool. And here it comes. Nothing special. We've seen this before, but 
I'm still gonna still gonna take a little bit of a look. Oh, auto save, good. Alrighty. So you're gonna run up here, get into the station, turn round. Now I could just I just I could just tell him to turn around. Yeah, turn around. Go and go and get some go and get some planks. Have we got any planks for you to haul yet? Nothing waiting at the moment. How are we doing? We've started production though. So that's good. So what he's going to do, he's going to haul the planks up here, drop them off, and then the planks and the steel are all going to get hauled on this line down to here. So that's the plan. So let's see. So when you drop off, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put another depot down here. Now I could use that depot up there, right? Um, I could use that depot up there if I just like linked this up, but I don't really want to do that. Do I want to do that? I don't really want to do that. I mean, I suppose I could. Yeah. Oh, all right then. Oh, all right then. I'll do it. So let's link you up like that, and then uh, how much cash have we got? A million. Not enough. Not enough. Let's speed things up a bit. Where are we up to? Yeah, I'm up to my I'm up to my borrowing limit. Uh, what are you complaining about? Vehicles. Uh, train three's got a problem. Uh, no path. Okay, pause. Oh, because I took that station out, I need to put this back in. Yeah, there you go. There's always a reason. So I need to add this station in. There you go. And of course, you've put it into that freaking platform, haven't you? Uh, now, what I could do is put a signal in to stop it doing that. So if I put a signal in... Uh, if I put a signal in here... There we go. Right, so now uh, I could go and get my train sorted out, can't I? Yeah, how much cash have I got? 1.26 million. Not enough. Keep it going then. How are you doing? Let's have a look. No logs. Really? You haven't produced any logs yet? Oh, it's cranking up the production now though. Oh, hang no, that wasn't the log. No, that was the planks one it hasn't produced any planks yet it just defaults to logs come on you produce some damn planks why aren't we seeing any planks over here line usage no I wonder oh yeah you know what it, that's not going to do anything until I put the, get to, to, until I activate this line all right so we've got two million to spend, so now we can get a train on I'm there. really struggling, guys, with with why. Like, this is slow, but it's got tremendous pulling power. But it's got... It's so expensive that I could buy two of these, which combined have more high, uh, more power and have a higher top speed. So, so what's the point of the other one? I just don't understand it. So, yeah, I like, why wouldn't I just buy two of those? kind of crazy like for for right now I'm gonna buy one of those yeah I'm gonna buy one of those with let's see I've got 1.7 which should enable me to yeah I can buy four of these so one two three four now these state cars carry uh, steel and planks so this is perfect for what we want to do All right so you are gonna be on a new line which runs from uh, from here down to whatever this station is, uh, Sparksville Transfer. Cool. So let's go up here. Always like to see our new trains. Oh, don't need that. And off you go. Here it comes. Oh, yeah, you're going to wait because. I assume, yeah, this line's busy at the moment. All right, well, let's speed it up and get him out of the way. So what are you, you're dropping off. Okay, now he's waiting. 
because you're coming down here and yeah you're gonna nip onto this line all right cool uh, let's slow it down a bit and let's follow him oh, that's it's kind of cool isn't it come on So he would be picking up planks and steel. Oh, and in fact, he's picked up a little bit of steel. How about that? He's picked up a little bit of steel. Right, now this line is active. This should figure out that it can ship its planks. So line usage, yes. So it's gonna start, yes, it's starting to put planks on here. The planks will get shipped to there, transferred to this train. Uh, let's, let's follow you down the hill. And of course, he's going to be carrying the heavy load going down, and then he'll be coming up empty, so... Get rid of that. Like, is it just me? Is this, is this kind of reminiscent of... I don't know, like... It's kind of a cross between the Yorkshire Dales and the Lake District. These are, these are places in, in the UK for, for anybody that doesn't know. But to, to all the UK people, what do you think? Like, it is kind of like, it is kind of like, this is, like, that's like a Yorkshire Dales kind of thing. And then this is definitely, yeah, a few more trees. Like Windermere, Coniston Water, you know, those kind of, yeah, yeah. If you've been to those places. All right. Should we, um, should we speed things up just a touch? Yeah, come on, let's get down here. So we're shipping our steel down to this factory and our planks. So then this can actually start producing stuff. Now, when it does start producing stuff, let's speed it up. When it does start producing stuff, we can then start shipping it out. Oh, here we go. Oh, and we've got a new vehicle available. And this is uh, the this is the next um, freight ship. Cargo ship. Awesome. So yeah, we can we can start doing that. You know what? We've got one and a half million. Let's do the let's do the harbour. Let's do the harbour. Because that then completes the completes the line. So we want a harbour going in down here. Let's spin you around. We want a harbour. Oh, that would do. That'll do, pig. Uh, now. Oh, seriously? That's not... Oh, come on. I've just wasted 200,000. Oh, no. I can't believe you don't reach that. Man. I, I, that's my own fault. That is completely my own fault. I should have been freaking paying attention. Um, so, that, you know what? That needs to go... I don't know, go back a little bit. So, I don't know. Let's go down to, like, there. Now, let's see. So, if we attached it to that... Oh, then it's attached. Man, that was just... Wasted 200k just because I was being careless, because I was distracted. All right, so let's pop you in... Let's try and get that straight there. Cool. Um, now we can buy a couple of ships and put a couple of lines in because we can deliver over to Sparksville and we can deliver over to Barrington. Oh, yeah. Right, let's get done, shall we? So let's get... Uh, buy ships. We've got two and a half million. You know what? We can afford to actually repay, start repaying some of this. So repay, repay. So let's get... Um, now, am I going to put these on, or am I going to... Um, bum, 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 bum. I, tell, uh, I tell you what we're going to do, I think. I'm going to go and check. Before I do that, I'm just going to go and check. Uh, let's put all the icons on so I can actually see how much stuff is. Right, how are you doing? Okay, we, we, we're keeping up with the shipping the the construction materials now. So, yeah, what I was thinking of doing was, was putting 
the new ships on that line because I thought I needed another ship. Um, but what I could do... Oh, now, I wonder if this is a good idea. Oh, all right. I t okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to put two new lines in. Yeah, this is. I think this is a smart way to go. So I'm going to put two new lines in. Um, we're going to put a line in from the new from the new docks, whatever that uh, Sparksville Holt down to here, which is Sparksville Docks. I changed the name of that myself. And then we're going to put another new line in, which is going to be from Sparkville Holt to, uh, to what's this? Ghoul West. That needs to be changed from Ghoul West to uh, to Barrington West, I think. Okay. Having done that, I'm going to take a couple of a couple of Wilhelms. Um, now, you're coming up here. Let's pause this. You're coming up here empty, aren't you? Yeah. And then we've got. This. So, okay. What I'm going to do? I'm going to tell this one. Yeah. You, nah, no, you're full. This one, the empty one. I'm going to tell him to transfer to um, line, I don't know, line three. Yeah. You're going to go on to line three. Okay. And then I'm going to take the next ship that's coming up here, which is you. Yeah, empty. And you are going to transfer to line four. Okay. And then we're going to buy a new ship. So, buy ships. Oh, this new, big, huge, beefy Klondike. With a capacity of 100. So, it's twice twice the capacity. Uh, and it can haul everything except liquids. Um, um, yeah, cool. Uh, so, you are going to be bought half a million. All right. And then we'll put you on the uh, on the SF Barrington line. So you're going to go on the bearing tonight. Let me let me angle this up so maybe you can see. Um, can we see the Barrington line? Can't really see it. It's um, yeah, you can kind of just sort of see it, but it's that one running down to Barrington. So you're going to go onto the Barrington route. Okay, and let's get rid of those icons. Don't need to try and ten anymore. Should we do it? Look at that. Is she majestic or what? Pop that down there. All right, let's follow you. Oh, hell yeah. Sound your horn, be proud. I'm gonna just put the camera over here. Oh, look at that. This is a really peachy paddle steamer. And the level of detail is just staggering. Look at those. I don't know what they. I don't know what they call them. Um, there is a proper name for those, and I don't know what it is, but they're kind of like winches. Look at that. I mean, seriously, isn't that good? Let's follow it. Let's follow you. And it's pretty freaking huge as well. Um, we've got three and a half million. I should start paying off this loan. <clears throat> let's do that because we've borrowed nine mil. So let's repay like a bunch of that. That's got us back down to nine to five and a half. Cool. All right. So this is going to re replace the two ships that we've just taken off that line. And what I should do is actually uh, reverse it, shouldn't I? So yeah, reverse. Will you reverse? No, you won't. That's a damn shame. Okay, well, it's going to take a bit of time to space out, I suppose. And we're building up a building up a load of stone. So, I don't know why you can't tell these things to reverse. It's kind of annoying. Um, I mean, I suppose I could buy another ship and put it on there. But, meh. Don't really want to. Alrighty, so what are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? Uh, what we're going to do now is kind of look at this line and make sure that it's all working properly. So we have got 
whole load of iron ore here. How are you doing? Are you are you going to be able to collect it all? Oh, yes, you are. Almost all of it. And that's perfect. So that's not running nicely. What about our lumber? How are you doing? Production's 50. Now, here's this train. Uh, it's up to 22 miles an hour. 23. So, it's actually running as fast as... Uh, the, which, which, which one's this? I can't remember which one's which. The, the, the G3 and the T3. So, this one is running just as fast as the other one would. In fact, it's now running faster than the other one would. So, why the hell would I want the other one? The thing is, uh, I want to put a, like a, a bunch more trucks on this. Uh, but I'm thinking I just stick another engine on. Is kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, the thing is, if I put the other one, if I put the other engine on, I could probably put like 12 trucks on that, like without any problem. And we are getting, yeah, we're getting a load of stuff being produced here. We've got 70 planks. So, how's the, how's the number? You, oh, production's up to 80. Wow. Wowzers. Alrighty. So yeah, we um, we should probably think of upgrading this train. The, the, this train maybe. Uh, where are you? You're the one going up here. Yeah, here we go. You're this one. Yeah, we should maybe think of upgrading this. Let's let's whiz it on. Um, let's follow you down the hill. Uh, am I going to upgrade you? I gotta say, I'm kind of tempted. See, this flies down the hill at 31 miles an hour. I, I'm, I'm going to stick a second engine on this, I think. Although, hang on a second. How much... How much lumber's waiting? 32, 33. Well, no, that's, that's nice. That's picking up just exactly the right amount. So, no, we don't have to tinker with that. Okay, that's beautiful. Oh, I didn't rehook this up. Now we could run two trains on here. We're set up to run two trains, but we actually don't need to at the moment. Um, you know what? I should have made this actually a bit shorter so that we could run this onto a single point. That's actually a good idea. So let's pause that. Let's, um, let's take this back, like a section. And, oh, no, don't want a signal and hook you up onto there and then we want you to hook onto here which you won't will you oh you will just oh lordy it worked hooray okay good 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 um let's carry on running then we've got another two and a half million okay well let's uh let's repay some more of that so our loan is at three and a half million now so we're happy with the logs. We're happy with the iron ore. Uh, how's the coal doing? Oh, auto save. Oh, and we've just hit. We've just hit the year 1900, and we get this awesome new tanker, the Vandal, and we get a three-axle passenger car. Should we take a look at these? Because I know that a lot of you, um, or as I say, a lot, several of you have asked me to um, to show the stats on the new vehicles as they show up. So let's go and have a quick look. So let's have a look in here. So, buy ships. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, this is like almost, what? Well, I don't know, I suppose it's about 20% longer than the, uh, than the Klondike. But it's like double the size of one of these Wilhelms. It's freaking huge. So we had the Zoroaster, which had a capacity of, uh, of 60. Top speed, 12 miles an hour. And then we've got this thing. Oh, a capacity of 150 and 16 miles an hour. Wow. Jeez. Lifespan of 50 years. And it's only it's only 800 thou. That's kind of surprising. I think the boats could be very efficient, you know. I think, I think the boats are very efficient. And then we want to go and look at... Um, where's the depot? I just put a depot down here, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Let's go and look at this depot and look at this, um, this new passenger car. 
So this is a three axle car. Now comparing this, this has got a capacity of 11. This has got a capacity of 14. Oh my God, uh, top speed is, um, is 62 compared with 37. But it's the cost that I went, oh my God, at. This is, this is a quarter of a million. This thing's over half a million. Holy hell. Man, that thing's freaking expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I got to say, I can't wait till we get the whole passenger line thing going. Um, yeah. Pretty sweet and awesome. Well, we have now got our whole production chain set up, except for one thing. And that is, we're going to be producing slag, right, up here. Um, where? Right, um, the steel factory. That, this is a steel factory. And I'm guessing that we've got slag in here. Where are we? Details. Yes, uh, yeah, we've got 15 slag which is sitting here that it can't do anything with. So what we want to do is ship that slag uh, from here over to our factory over here. And then it can get shipped into here, turned into construction materials and then get shipped out. Ha 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 ha! Can you see why I wanted two docks here now? Because this is going to get freaking busy around here. So, um, so yeah, we want to put in another line, and I'll do the I'll do the naming of it like offline. I won't bore you guys with it. Uh, let's say I want a new line, all purple, all like that, and that's going to go from here over to uh, this one, I think. This one, actually, I might bring it into this one because this one's got less traffic, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, all right, go into that one. Yeah, that should be okay. All right, so now we need a, we need a ship on there. So I think what I'm gonna do is maybe buy another Klondike. Buy another Klondike. There's a Klondike. Here we go. Buy a Klondike, which I can afford. Buy, uh, and put that on the, uh, on the SF Barrington line. So, that one shipping the construction materials and then I'll take another one of the old ships uh, like maybe you the new one's gonna come out of there and it should actually go here first so yeah I'm gonna nick you I think so you are gonna be transferred to line 5 off you go Right, here comes our new Klondike. Oh, all bright and shiny and beautiful. And paddly. <laughs> oh, you got to love this stuff. Um, it should. It should go over to that other one. I bet you it doesn't. You should go over there because the last one went over here. And I can't reverse you, can I? No, of course I can't. Freaking annoying. Okay, well, it is what it is, I suppose. Uh, right, where's the other Klondike? Oh, the other Klondike's just docked. Oh, I didn't see how much it carried. Oh, I would have liked to see how much it carried. I'm guessing it should have carried quite a lot. But, yeah, I don't know. Oh starting to ship a bunch of stuff through that through there right we've got loads of stuff building up over here we've got 126 waiting we're gonna wait for this guy to come in to pick up the next load okay so uh, now we can ship slag what we want to do is go and check up here to see if slag is getting shipped out to the railway station uh, we're getting steel we're getting planks no slag yet. So let's have a look. You got 15 slag. Why don't you start shipping some of it out? Mind you, it might be saying, look, there's too much blooming stuff here. I guess the next thing to think about, guys, well, let's, let's pay off some loan. Um, repay, 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 repay. Okay, we've repaid all the loan. And we've got 700k left. Um, the, I guess the next thing to do is to uh, double track this section. Um, well, it's either we double track this section 
or maybe I should just replace this train with um, uh, the, 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 the Prussian T3 or G3, whichever the, 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 the big hauler is, and, uh, and put like 12 trucks on it. What do you think? What do you think? I want to know what you think. Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know. You know, I, I might end up putting a blooming depot down here rather than make it like go all the way up here to upgrade. This is why having local local depots is kind of a nice thing. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, comments about this. I'm sure I've screwed something up somewhere that you'll be able to tell me about. Um, what do you think about the idea of the uh, the new extended passenger line? Remember, it's going to be going like all the way around Vieterville and Mexborough and, and Kesgrave and all around there. And then hicking, hooking up with the Ilkeston line through to here and then link it all the way around. So we'll have a nice huge circular line. And then we can burn, uh, pack like a bunch of trains on there uh, and have routes going like a clockwise and an anti-clockwise route. And then we can start doing branch lines and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and by the way, our towns are kind of growing. Um, like I would imagine Barrington must be must be growing quite a lot because it's getting a lot of stuff sent to it. And now we've got the like the tools and machinery going out to uh, Sparksville and Barrington. They should be really growing. Let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. Come on. How are we doing? Population. Wow, Kimberley's up to 530 now. Lutterworth's almost 500. Wowzers. Awesome. Well, I, actually, it makes sense that Kimberley's the biggest because we've got um, good passenger services and we're shipping food out to it. So we're... Um, We'll be we'll be fairly should be fairly line usage is only well line usage is only twenty percent, um, but shopping facilities forty six. We need to get more st stuff to grow. So our commercial is growing here, but that's probably getting uh, lots of people to come shopping over here. And you can see we've got loads of passengers waiting. Now I did put um, six extra land hours, three going clockwise and three going anti clockwise to improve the uh, the flow of passengers. Look, you know what, let's have a look at this line before just, be just before we end the episode. So let's see, I wanna look at uh, RP, road passenger, Kimberley. Right, so we've got five of the old ones and three of the new land hours, right? And, well, we're making a profit. We're, the frequency's every minute, which is pretty darn good. But look, we've got loads of passengers waiting. How many passengers have we got waiting here? We've got 40 passengers waiting. Wow. So, yeah, I think we need to, uh, I, need to I think we need to up that. Loads of passengers waiting here to be bussed around. So, yeah, I definitely need to put more vehicles on that. We've got, we've got, I think, a load of passengers waiting for the trains. Oh, go away. I don't want, to, I want you. I want, I want the train station. Yeah, we've got 71 passengers waiting there. How many people are actually on the trains? We've got 71 of 77. Beautiful. Are they profitable, those lines? Should we find out? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the line profitability. Let's sort it by, in uh, let's sort it by income. So, uh, yeah, Kimberley Ilkeston, which is this line, making one and a half million a year on that line. Uh, the Applejack line's making a million. We need to get the, uh, the other, where is it? The, we need to get the Troy Sparksville line making a lot more money. Yowzers. All right, guys, leave me your comments. I'm looking forward to them. I'll catch you for the next one. Hope you're enjoying it. Peace out.